Let's take a look at increasing multiplication patterns with numbers up to 10,000. Okay, they asked us to complete the pattern. Now notice we have seven times 10 to the first power, seven times 10 to the second power, seven times 10 to the third power, and seven times 10 to the fourth. So let's think about that exponent part. Remember, an exponent means that you're multiplying the base by itself the exponent number of times. So for example, if I had two to the first power, that would just be two. If I had two to the second power, that's telling me to multiply two by itself twice, which would be two times two or four. Now, since our bases or since our bases for all of these are 10, that makes our multiplication nice and easy because we have a pattern for working with 10. So if I said 10 to the first power, well, 10 to the first power is just 10, right? That's saying write out 10 one time. If I have 10 to the second power, well, 10 to the second power would be 10 times 10, and 10 times 10 would give me 100. If I have 10 to the third power, that would be 10 times 10 times 10, which would give me 1,000. Now you might already be picking up on the pattern here because every time you multiply by 10, you add a zero, right? 10 is one zero, 10 times 10 or 10 to the second power is 100, two zeros. 10 to the third power is 1,000, one, two, three zeros. So without even writing it all the way out, you can figure out that 10 to the fourth power would have to have four zeros or 10,000. Okay, well let's combine that with the fact that we're multiplying by seven. So if we said seven times 10 to the first power, that's seven times 10 or 70. If we said seven times 10 to the second power, well, remember we said 10 to the second power was 100. So that's seven times 100 or 700. So an easy way to think about this, multiplying by seven is gonna make the first number seven. And then when we multiply by 10 to some power, that's telling us essentially how many zeros, right? 10 to the first power, put one zero on it. 10 to the second power, put two zeros on our answer for 700. So 10 to the third power is gonna put three zeros on our answer, or 7,000. 10 to the fourth power is gonna put one, two, three, four zeros on our answer, or 70,000. Okay, we have the same thing here. So this would be one zero, two zeros. I'm gonna go fast since this is the same problem. One, two, three, four zeros. Now this time, we're following that same pattern, except we're multiplying by one. So this would be one times 10. Well, one times 10 is just 10. One times 10 to the second, well remember 10 to the second gave us 100. So this would be one times 100 or 100. So again, you could say, well, one times makes the first number one, and then 10 to the third power is gonna give me three zeros. Multiplying by one makes my first number just one, and then 10 to the fourth power means I'm gonna have four zeros. One, two, three, four. So again, it just makes it even easier if you pick up that pattern that when we multiply 10 to a power, that power of the 10 is telling you how many zeros are going to be on that answer. 8 times 10 to the first. Okay, well that's the same thing as saying 8 times 10, that would be 80. If I say 8 times 10 to the second, that means my 8 is going to have two zeros on it, or 800. 8 times 10 to the third means I'm going to have one, two, three zeros on it, or 8,000. And 10 to the fourth power is telling me to put one, two, three, four zeros on my 8, or 80,000. Ten to the first times what number would give us ten? Well, keep in mind ten to the first power means ten written out one time, so that's already just ten. 
So 10 times 1 would give me 10. 10 to the second power puts two zeros on it. So if the first number stayed a 1, I would also multiply that by 1. This would also be a 1, and 10 to the third power puts 1, 2, 3 zeros on it. Following that pattern, this would also be a 1, and 10 to the fourth power gives me 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros on the answer. 10 to the first power times what is equal to 80? Well, notice 10 to the first or 10 put 1, 0 on the answer, so I must have multiplied by 8 to make the first digit 8. Following that same pattern, this would also have to be an 8, and 10 to the second power put two zeros on the answer, or moved it to place values. 10 to the third power, well that means I'm going to have one, two, three zeros on my answer, but I would still multiply by 8 to get that first digit. Same thing here, multiplying by 8 to make my first number 8, and then 10 to the fourth put the one, two, three, four zeros after that 8. Ten to the first power times what number gives us fifty? Well, that would have to be multiplied by five to make the first digit five. And you can follow the same pattern. These would all have to be five to make the first digits five. And then the powers are telling us how many place values to move it or how many zeros to put on the end of our answer.